Hello and welcome to another Python tutorial. My name is Tom with PythonTutorial.com and today we're going to learn how to change the size of the main main window in TK Enter. Um, in the previous tutorial we learned how to change the title at the top of the window. Now we're going to learn how to change the size. We'll also look at positioning the window on the screen and at the end I will show you how to center it. Um, first off <clears throat> Let's take a look at uh, what we got so far. Uh, this is our code here. Uh, basically, we're running the main window with TK. Uh, root, our variable here is representing that main window. Uh, we call the main, men main window uh, with root, and then we change the title here with this uh, method in our program, and the main loop is gonna keep the window running until we kill the program by clicking on the next like that. So let's go ahead and run it here. Um, make sure you're in your program or in your proper file and then Python 3 I have no idea what we called it. First window.py first window.py py go ahead and run it. I will pop up and your window will pop up. Mine goes all the way to the top left hand corner. We'll learn how to move that today and there's my window. Um, that's pretty cool um, what we've done so far. <clears throat> but I would like to change the size of this window. Uh, I'm, I'm not liking the size so what we are going to do is change that. So first things first. Let's go ahead and change that. So what we do is we call uh, the TK function here. So we call it via root, and then we're going to call geometry, geometry, um, which this is the positioning and the size of the of the window. So how we control it, and then in the in it's going to take an argument, and it's in string format. So it's width times height, and then plus the x axis plus the y axis alright so <clears throat> you got the width, the height, the x axis, the y axis, the x y axis this is positioning on this side this is the size on this side so right now we're just going to focus on the size we'll talk about positioning in a second so width and height alright so let's change this to, um, let's say, 600 pixels, and these are pixels, by the way, 600 pixels uh, wide, and we want um, 500 pixels high. All right, save your file, and now we're going to run it. So go to your terminal, press up, press enter, and it'll kick on, and now you can see my window is a lot larger. So this is 600 pixels from here to here, 500 pixels from here to here. Awesome. So we changed the size of our window. It's pretty simple, right? Um, now, <clears throat> as you can see, my window popped up all the way up here in the top left-hand corner. Um, personally, I, I don't like that. If I was going to open a program and I was going to work with it, I would want it to open up dead center of my screen. Um, but we can do that, right? So I showed you we can add the x axis and the y axis. So we uh, want to enter plus, and we'll say, I don't know, 50 pixels from the left, and then another plus, and we'll do 50 pixels from the top. So we'll save that, open our terminal once again, and run the program again. And idle comes on, and now my program opens up a little bit off the uh, left side and a little bit off the top side. Um, that is not really where I wanted it, right? So let's extend that a little bit, close the uh, program again, and let's go um, 500 by 500. Save that, and we'll come up here, run our program again it comes on and now my program's down here alright well it looks like it's center left uh, left and right maybe it's pretty close but it's still not centered here 
Well, every screen size is different. So if someone's going to run your program, you're going to spend all this time trying to figure out what numbers here and here are going to center it on your screen. But guess what? When you go over to your buddy's house to show him this awesome program you just built, it's probably going to open up somewhere different on his on his uh, uh, monitor. So <clears throat> there's a way to fix this, and I'm going to walk you through it. Let's get rid of uh, root geometry for now. All right. Um, we'll leave root title there. And what we're going to do is uh, start walking through this. Now, we can do this one or two ways. And I'll write the code. F now, you know what? We're just going to make a function to handle our main menu a window. It'll look cleaner, it'll be easier to um, follow along. So we're just going to keep root tk up here. We're going to make a function. Fine. Uh, let's do window. So we're defining a function, our function name, and give it one argument of main. All right, here's our function. Take out root, make this main. I just want to make sure my function works. We'll do a window and root here. And we'll run our program. Oops, our program is running. Close out our program. Now we'll run our program. Now we'll run our program. There we go. Alright, program still runs. So our function, our our function is running properly. Alright, so we got our main title, which we wrote the other day. Now, <clears throat> what we're going to do is um, start figuring out some variables of the size of the screen, um, left and right, and positioning and stuff like that. So, uh, first thing we can do is do main dot update idle task. This is going to update idle's task when this function runs here. It's going to update them. And this is where um, it's going to get some of the width and height information on your um, monitor or anybody's monitor. So uh, let's create a variable. Width is equal to main dot, uh, what is it? W info width. So we're going to get the width of the current screen that the window opens up in. Let's do the same for height. We'll do main.winfo height. So now we're going to get the height of the current screen. Oops. So we got the width and the height. <clears throat> so this will figure out um, the size of our window here. So let's go and call our our uh, geometry again, so we'll do main oops, main dot geometry and in here we're going to use some formatting, so we'll do uh, curly brackets x, curly brackets and uh, format and width Sorry about that. Pause the video. I don't really remember where it was. I thought someone was breaking in my house and pool guys here. Um, anyway, well, let's go ahead and run this. So we got main geometry. We got our. We formatted our width and our height. So let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. Idle pops up. properly and this is um, kind of a troubleshooting way because I didn't do this before I did the video so I you know, screwed up somewhere 
a close program here. Run it again. 200 by 200. All right, so <clears throat> what we're doing right now is it's going to give us whatever the size is of what it needs with winfo with height. So <clears throat> what we could do, um, if you wanted to set a specific size, but center the center the um, window, we could look at that. But um, for right now, this is going to give us the actual size it needs for the program for everything to fit in it. But we could also um, change the height and the width, like we can do, let's do about 500 and 500 here, okay, we're going to do that. And then let's, let's just center this, get that over with, so we'll do, actually, before we do that, let's take that out for a second, we'll do, put this back. Use myself up with 500 there. So let's do x equals <clears throat> uh, main dot w info again, and this time it's going to be screen screen width. Now we're going to do floor division by two. Then minus uh, width four division by two. Alright, so getting the screen width, we'll do the four division by two to get center, and then the width up here, divide that by two to get center, like we just saw is 200 pixels, so we'll get 100. And then with y, we'll do uh, equals main dot so screen height height and we'll do same thing floor division by two minus that and then we'll get height floor division by two and if we do Plus, plus x and y. Save this. We're going to run our program here. Idle fired up. Boom. Dead center on my screen. All right. So it's 200 by 200. Now, if you wanted it bigger, this is just based off what I don't or what the. Uh, program needs to its minimum set height and width. Um, we can always do something with just setting the width and the height. Like we take this out and set this to uh, 500. Take this out. Set this to 500. Save it. <clears throat> oh, close your program. Run it again. And there you go. We have 500 by 500 instead center. All right. So, <clears throat> uh, this way we're letting um, TK enter basically decide our actual height it needs. So it's kind of like flexible, it'll expand, um, or going all the way by setting a hard hard height. We can do you know 500 by 500 or whatever you like. <clears throat> but then these two lines here will help us get dead center on the screen and then we change the geometry here. Alright, so that's uh, changing the screen size and centering and moving the screen around. If you have any questions, leave a comment on YouTube or on our website at learnplaythonmatorial.com. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like the video, and we'll see you in the next one.